Hi guys. For today's video, we're not doing makeup. We're just going to talk about a story that happened in the 1800s in Kentucky. By the title, you're probably wondering, what is she talking about? Yes, there was an actual meat shower in Bath County, Kentucky on March 3rd, 1876. You're probably wondering, just as I was when I first seen this, like, how? How is that possible? We'll get into some theories a little bit later. Miss Crouch, I couldn't find her actual name. She was a farmer's wife, and I guess they just called her by her husband's last name. So, Miss Crouch was making soap on her front porch, and as she was making the soap, I also wonder what scent she was making, or if it was just like, that's besides the point. Anyway, so she was making soap, and all of a sudden she seen meat, like hunks of meat, fall out of the sky. And I'm sure that she was like, what in the world is this? Like, so she goes to investigate and find just like hunks of meat on the ground. The meat looked absolutely disgusting, as you can imagine. In these days, and it is the South, I do live in Kentucky, so, um... <laughs> I can understand why people would feel this way because they still feel this way today. Everybody just assumed it was a sign from God. It's either earlier in the year or later after this happened. The same thing supposedly happened in Europe. So they were just assuming that it was like this big sign from God. I don't know what he was trying to tell them, but that's what they thought. So whenever they looked at it, they thought at first that it was like beef, you know, just like from a cow. Um, until two men tasted the meat. And my first thought on this is like, well, why would you put that in your mouth? Southern people just do not care. I must not be one of those type of southern people because there's no way I'm putting that in my mouth. Like, I understand what their brains are thinking, but don't put random stuff that falls out of the sky into your mouth, please. When those two men tasted it, they said it was either lamb or deer. Another local hunter tried it, and he said that it was bear meat. 100% certain it was bear meat. They had taken the meat and sent it off somewhere, and there was this man named Leopold, and he said that it was this stuff called Nostock. I will insert a picture of it, but you will see this in the bottoms of like a lake or like a pond. It's kind of like just this bacteria. A sample was also given to a place called the NSH, and Dr. Hamilton at the NSH said that it was lung tissue from a horse or a human infant. So upon further analysis, and this was also in 1876, so they didn't have the resources that we have today. So two pieces of the meat was identified as lung tissue, three pieces were identified as muscle tissue, and two pieces were identified as just pure cartilage. So now we're wondering how did meat fall from the sky? in little Bass County, Kentucky. At first they said it was a sign from God. But the most popular thing and what I think a lot of people have just decided to, to roll with is vulture vomit. <laughs> as disgusting as that sounds, that sounds like the most logical reasoning for this. And if you don't know what a vulture is, they're this big bird that will eat dead animals. Apparently, whenever vultures feel they need a quick escape, they will just empty their stomachs. It doesn't matter where they are, if they're above you, it does not matter, they do not care. Or if it, they use it as like a defense mechanism, I guess, because I mean, if I was going to attack somebody, not that I ever would, but if I did and they started puking at me, I probably would leave, you know, I'd just be like, okay, it's not worth it. But that sounds like the most logical explanation because if God was going to give them a sign, I don't think it would be meat from the sky. Um, and then nothing else happened after that, so I'm gonna go with Vulture Vomit, and that does sound like a very hardcore metal band as well. Vulture Vomit. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think happened on March 3rd, 1876 in Little Bath County, Kentucky. Do you think it was Vulture Vomit? Do you think it was a sign from God? What do you think it was? Do you also think that it was the bacteria, which also how did it get up in the sky if it was the bacteria? The thing I believe is about the vultures. I think that's the most logical thing. Follow me on all my other social medias. I am most active right now on Twitch. I am on there gaming. I play a variety of games. If you want to join the stream and suggest a game, if I have it, we'll play it. One of my favorite things to do is to just get on there and talk and play. It's just fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.